Today marks the 30th anniversary of the deadliest nuclear power plant disaster in history. The explosion at the Chernobyl plant in present-day Ukraine affected millions across Europe, changing the way the world handles nuclear energy. Keith Kosinski traveled to Ukraine to see firsthand how the scars of this tragedy still remain. Возле города Чернобыля недалеко и оттуда потом возили на атомную станцию, но мне правда запретили. It's an incredible feeling to see suffering of, of people and not being able to help. Вы уезжаете, вы покидаете свой дом. Больше вы свой дом не видите. Chernobyl, a nuclear power plant in Ukraine. It was supposed to bring clean energy to millions, but it became the site of a global disaster. 20-year-old Oleg's family live nearby. At our school, Chernobyl was one of the main topics. It was the Soviet system of education that showed us all the time scary pictures and told us about burning firefighters in liquidators. It was the early morning of April 26, 1986. A nuclear reactor at the Chernobyl power plant exploded and caught fire during a safety test. The nuclear accident uh, is a champion in several categories. Sergei Mirny was a chemist who researched the accident site. It is the worst radioactive contamination accident. It is the worst nuclear accident of peaceful times. It is the worst accident at the nuclear reactor. The explosion released a cloud of highly radioactive dust and debris hundreds of feet into the air, further spread by winds. Radiation is all around us, from microwaves to computers to cell phones. But some types of radiation disrupt cells in our bodies from multiplying correctly, causing illnesses like cancer. And the higher the dose means greater health effects. The amount of radiation released at Chernobyl was 200 times higher than from the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Firefighters and plant workers worked to put out the blaze and keep the damage from growing, not fully understanding that every second near the reactor separated life and death. At least 30 first responders and workers died shortly after. As many as 600,000 firefighters and cleanup workers were exposed to high amounts of radiation. One of them was Alexei Bruce, a reactor operator who was 27 at the time. It was a regular Monday morning and everything was okay, but I thought it was strange when I approached the reactor and it was not there. Alexei worked a full day near the reactor, exposed to extreme doses of radiation. What type of effects did the radiation have on your body? I was full of energy. That feeling is called radioactive euphoria. I felt like I was Superman. After my working shift, when I undressed, all of my body under clothes looked as if I was sunbathing for quite a long time. Frankly speaking, I was disturbed. I was worried because I had nausea and I felt like I wanted to vomit. And millions of others were exposed to dangerous radiation as the radioactive cloud continued growing and spewing into what is now northern Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. But it was days before the country and the world knew about the disaster. Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, a strict communist superpower that controlled all the information and kept the people closed off from the world. People that had to work at the power plant had to sign a paper saying that we would not say the real reason of the accident at Chernobyl. It is a unique experience for Ukraine, so it is an experience that is the fault of humans but it is not the fault of the operator who was at the power plant that night. It was the fault of the administration and government who gave permission for the reactor. People in nearby towns were eventually evacuated, but the effects of radiation lasted for generations. Thousands of people in the Chernobyl area died from radiation-induced cancers, including children. About 10,000 Belarusian and Ukrainian kids develop thyroid cancer, and it is scientifically connected to Chernobyl radiation. 
An area over 1,000 square miles became a ghost town known as the Exclusion Zone, a place under military control, restricting people from living there. But thousands of people still chose to live near the Exclusion Zone. Oleg was born in Slavutich, Ukraine, about 40 miles away from the power plant, where displaced people from the accident were relocated. Are you ever nervous living so close to the exclusion zone? Yeah. Maybe I should have some reason to worry because members of my family worked at the power plant, but it was okay. Oleg now brings people to the exclusion zone on tours, hoping to educate and share the story of this tragedy with the rest of the world. It's an experience we have to share. Tomorrow, we cross the border into the exclusion zone to see firsthand how the accident at Chernobyl turned one bustling city into an abandoned wasteland. This is more than 1,000 times the normal level. So we shouldn't stay in this area for very long then? Of course, we have to go. Keith Kosinski, Channel One News. Powerful story, Keith. Can't wait to see tomorrow's piece. But in the meantime, here's a pop quiz for you guys. The world's first nuclear reactor was built in which country? Russia, China, or the United States? The answer is at channel1.com. Okay, after the break, Cuba's most talented hit the Big Apple.